I've gotten a few comments lately. Um, people have been watching some of my older videos about my ultralight that I have, the B light. Um, I did a kind of a more thorough walk around video of it, so I'm not really going to go through everything on it. People want to know the flight characteristics and just stuff like that, I guess. I'll just do a quick walk around. Like I said before, I have a video of it that covers basically all my modifications to it. But uh, it's got dual ignition, tack, which I just replaced. Um, I actually just kind of went through everything and fixed a bunch of stuff. Um, I had a bad, a broken wire on a cylinder head temp, fixed that. But I got cylinder head temp, exhaust gas temperature, airspeed, ball, compass, altimeter. And uh, that's pretty true as far as the colors go. Um, white arc with the flaps installs about 30, 31 miles an hour with full flaps. Uh, clean installs about 35, 36. And it hits 80 miles an hour pretty easy. It's got a 50 horsepower hearth, F23. So it's got plenty of power. I got a 64 inch warp drive propeller on it. Just go through the rest of the controls here. Fuel lines are another thing that I have just replaced. Kind of all the things that wear out, I went, I just went through over the past week and got that replaced so we're gonna be working right. Um, fuel valve, reds choke, black throttle, and then here's flaps, flap runs really. We've got three positions and then that's no flaps. We've got the stick, um, it's got heel brakes, and then those are the rudder pedals. The brakes are actually um, off a bicycle. I think they're called a hybrid. They got a, a hydraulic reservoir here and a hydraulic piston that operates the calipers, but um, it's cable operated. So it's a cable operated hydraulic piston. Got uh, 21 inch buffed tires. Exhaust is another thing that I just went through. Took it off, sandblasted it, painted it. It was a little bit rusty. Went through the engine, retorqued everything, checked all my fasteners. Pedo tube slides in for when you fold the wings, it takes up less room. The uh, wingtip fence, that's my design. Full span flap runs, they work great. They don't really create a lot of drag, so if you, like a kit fox, if you plan to um, come in steep, you're going to have to slip it. They create a lot of lift, but not so much drag. I've actually got a built-up horizontal stabilizer and elevator. It was kind of an option. I haven't flown one without it, so I don't really know if it makes a difference. But um, the, the uh, regular one would just be welded steel like the rudder. It's got no airfoil to it. It's just thin. So there's wood ribs in there that are built up. I've done away with the steering for the tailwheel. Just full swivel. These are the tabs off the rudder where it did connect. But if you want to turn tight, I just use brakes. It's a good thing about having differential brakes. Fuel tank, there's my fuel gauge, just a mirror. Just turn around over my left shoulder, have a look. The uh, windscreen's another thing I just replaced. Had a lot of stress cracks in it on the front where they make all the bends. That's about it. I would consider selling it, so if anybody's interested, let me know. I'm building my Highlander, so I don't really need two planes when the Highlander's done. So if anybody is wanting a uh, B light, just message me, let me know. Vortex generators, they probably lower the stall about a mile an hour or two, they help. Out of everything I just cleaned up and fixed on it, what took the longest is actually cleaning the plane. It was pretty bad. This is about the cleanest it's ever been. This is a nice flying plane. So like I said, it stalls around 30 miles an hour, full flap. It cruises around 55 to 60. It burns about two and a half to three gallons an hour. VNE is 80. It's a pretty simple airplane. Really haven't had any major issues with it. 
I do have the cowling for it. I don't think I'll ever put it on. I like inspecting the engine and just going over it before each flight. Just cleaned and oiled the air filters. Yeah, I had a new I just put on the new tachometer. Here's the wire going around the spark plug wire for the pickup. I don't know what happened. It just quit working. They're cheap and they don't last forever. One of the things I did put on the fuel system is kind of a sump, I guess. The quick fitting on it so you can drain a little gas. The way I designed the fuel system is this is the lowest spot in the fuel system, whether the airplane is on its tail or is in level, level flight. So it would catch any junk or water, hopefully, going through the system before it goes to the engine. Yeah, that's about it. I'm kind of waiting for the wind to calm down a little bit. It's a direct crosswind. So I don't know if I'll get flying tonight, but... It'd be nice. I don't think I've flown it in two, three months. I just did a run up. Everything's running good. But yeah, like I said, I'd be willing to sell it if anybody's interested. I don't need to sell it, but I don't really fly it all that much. I've got a paraglider too. I fly a lot of paraglider in the summer. And I have a tandem wing, so I take rides. Yeah, so like I said, I went into more depth on an earlier video if you guys want to find out more about it. But And if you have any more questions, just message me or leave a comment, let me know, and I can cover it. The full span ailerons were not stock when I bought the kit. I requested that. It's a 2012 kit, so I think back then they called it a super light. I think they're called like pro cubs now. But... So this is a B light, and it B light bought the rights for Kit Fox's Kit Fox light, and that's what kind of this derived from. About the biggest difference between this and a Kit Fox light is uh, this is a welded cabin that's aluminum with a riveted together tail section on the fuselage, and a Kit Fox light is all 4130 welded chromoly steel fuselage. Alright, well thanks for watching.